Hello, church family. This is Russ, just coming to you today with a short, uh, simple message from the church, uh, hoping to just instill some hope and, and be there for all of you. Uh, the church leaders, we've all agreed that it is vital to stay in communication with each and every one of you and continue to share hope and God's word throughout all of this unprecedented situation. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many videos from your elders, from the deacon board members. Uh, I'd like to post these daily on our website, on our YouTube channel, with the sole intent to share hope and God's love to all of our church family all over Michigan and all over the country, because uh, I know some of you aren't here through this time. So first, I want to remind every one of you to please pay close attention to our website, uh, www.sylvestercommunitychurch.com and our YouTube channel for updates, information, as we have it, we'll share it there uh, for easy communication. Uh, we will also be able to post our daily videos there. So we've already added a lot of things to that site, uh, including our previous sermons this last Sunday, the Sunday before, uh, video sermons there for you. We've added online tithing options. We've added the ability to submit prayer requests uh, right to our prayer chain straight from the website. So I know that, that through this time, you're not alone. We are here for each and every one of you, and through God's strength, we will get through this. I know we will. There are two particular pieces of scripture that I'd like to share in this video uh, that have given me comfort so far. Uh, both come from 2 Corinthians. So we'll start with 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. We will get through this. Uh, the second piece of scripture I'd like to share is also 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 1, verses 3 through 7. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the suffrage of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patience, endurance of the same suffering we suffer. And our hope for you is firm, because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. Both of those pieces of scripture touched my heart as I was looking for comfort in the scripture and hopefully they've done the same for you. I'd like to finish today's uh, short message with just a prayer, if you'd pray with me. Lord, I know that we go through troubled times, but I know that there are no troubled times that you can't endure with us. There are no troubled times that you can't give us strength to get through. And I ask, Lord, that, that you bless each and every person that sh that's on this video or watching this video with us or unable to give them comfort, give them peace, give them strength to get through these troubled times. And Lord, I ask that, that your hand of healing touches those that, that need it, that you help each and every one of us become better through this, this experience. And Lord, bring us closer to you, closer to your word. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy.